Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Houston Sports Talk breaking into the video today, and today I'm going to be talking about some most recent news in the NBA. As today, it was reported that the Utah Jazz are trying to trade up uh, in the NBA draft, trying to move up and and get the fifth or seventh overall pick to select Anthony Black out of Arkansas, as they are targeting Anthony Black, and most likely they know that with the ninth overall pick they do not have any chance to get Anthony Black with the ninth overall pick. So they have talked both to the Pistons and the Pacers about potentially trading up uh, either at five or seven um, to trade up in the NBA draft, either two spots or four. But I mean, Anthony Black, really solid player. Um, one of the best prospects in this draft. You know, Besides the big guys like Wimby, Scoot Anderson, Brandon Miller, Eamon Thompson, and Cam Whitmore. Anthony Black is probably you know the next best, the next best guy in you know in this draft class, and you know Anthony Black, good three point shooter, averaged thirteen points per game this season at Arkansas with five rebounds per game, two is two steals per game, really solid defender as well, good passer, good scorer, good three points shooter uh, was good for Arkansas in their March Madness run as they went all the way to the they Arkansas went all the way to the Elite Eight uh, which they did lose the they did lose to the uh, I forgot who they lost to in the Elite Eight but they did beat Kansas and the Elite Eight um, who was the reigning champions and the number one one of the number one seeds so Arkansas had a really good run in March Madness and Anthony Black was a part of that as well and Utah knows that there's a really there's not a really good chance that they get Anthony Black uh sticking at 9 and they have ta- they've talked to both the Pacers and the Pistons. Pistons have the 5th overall pick and the Pacers have the 7th overall pick about a potential trade to trade up. I'm going to talk about what a trade would look like for for the uh for the Jazz to trade up for both of those uh, picks and let's go over it now the Pacers one I'm gonna go over the Pacers one first but I think it's very unlikely just because the Pacers have been rumored to be a team that is gonna want to trade up and I could see them trading down is something they would not want to do so I think in a Pacers Jazz trade the Jazz would get the seventh overall pick and in return the Pacers would send pick nine and pick 28 now, this is something the Pacers are not going to want to do because if they do this trade, they're sitting at nine. Uh, you know, they, if they want a specific player, now their chances are going down on losing out on that specific player. And also, if they do this trade, they're stuck at pick 28, pick 29, and pick 26, um, which mul- most likely they would probably pair the three first round picks of pick 28, pick 29, and pick 26 together to trade up again. But I just, I honestly really don't see the Pacers trying to trade down, um, but the Jazz are trying to get any way, any way possible of trading up for Anthony Black, so understandable, but that would be the trade to happen if the Jazz were to trade for pick seven to get Anthony Black, and here's the Pistons trade, where I think this one is the, the more likely scenario for the Utah Jazz. So the Utah Jazz would get the fifth overall pick and the Pistons would get the Pistons would end up getting Rudy Gay who is I mean it's just a sol- solid veteran and they would also get pick 9 and pick 28. So f- pick 5 for pick 9 and 28 and Rudy Gay. Um I mean, only reason I added Rudy Gay in this trade is because Rudy Gay is a solid veteran, and and the Pistons are looking for you know mentors and veterans for their roster. So I think Rudy Gay would be a solid fit. But I mean, who knows? I'm just thinking about, and Utah is going to be looking to get rid of him this off season because he has a player option that's a six point four million dollar player option. Of course, he's going to accept in, into that player option. Because he's not going to get that much money in free agency. So he'll accept in that player option. And then after he does that, Utah's going to want to move him somewhere else. So um, I, I could see in a way where Detroit is going to want to get a little. I mean, I don't think pick nine and pick 28 is enough for pick five. You add in Rudy Gay, who's not, you know, a game changer, but he's just a solid player. He's a solid vet. And the Pistons are going to be looking some for some veterans. 
the Pistons are going to be looking for some veterans this this off season. And the other thing is that they get some nice assets, and they've dropped to pick nine for the Pistons. The Pistons really want Asar Thompson, and honestly. I think the only thing that was holding Oscar Thompson falling back down in this in this you know in in the draft order was the Pistons sitting there at five. If the Pistons trade down to pick nine, I see Oscar Thompson falling then falling down to pick nine. That's just my opinion, though. I see I would see Oscar Thompson falling down to to the pick nine where the Pistons would be at if they did this trade, and and you know they're interested in guys like Jerese Walker and and. Uh, they're inter- they're interested in guys like Jerese Walker and and um, Oscar Thompson. I think there would be a really decent chance if the, if the Pistons did this trade that Oscar Thompson would probably fall to pick nine for the Pistons because they really want him at uh, pick five right now. Um, and most likely, you know, the Pistons can probably trade down a little bit. Uh, and still get Oscar Thompson. I don't know if pick nine all the way down to pick nine, but they wanted to. They could move down two or three spots if, and, and maybe get lucky if go down to nine as well. And hopefully, Oscar Thompson will be sitting there at pick nine. But I, I know it's a, it's a gamble. It's a, it's a really big gamble for the Pistons. But uh, most likely, I don't really see anything going on with you know the Jazz. I think. They're gonna ultimately they're gonna try to trade up for Anthony Black, but I don't think they're gonna be able to get a trade up for Anthony Black, and ultimately some other team's gonna get him. Um, as of right now, who is pick seven? As of right now, I have the Pacers taking Anthony Black at pick. I think he's Anthony Black's gonna either go seven or eight. Um, but you know, I I think that Black will go either seven or eight, and we'll see. Uh, which one he goes? I I think I think he would be a really good fit. I think he'd be a great fit with the Pacers, but I think the Pacers, if Jarese Walker is there at seven, I think the Pacers are going to want to take Jarese Walker. So we'll see what happens. You guys have your thoughts. That's the video. Because enjoyed and peace out.